What's going on everyone? Today we are taking a look at the Nui Cam Pro, which is a battery powered wireless Wi-Fi camera. Taking a look at the specs, this has 2K resolution, 2.4 or 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi, two-way audio, Google and Alexa compatibility, and a 5,000 milliamp battery. So taking a look inside the box, you get these little stickers here. Another sticker to put on your window that says you're protected by Nui. Your quick start guide, your charging cable, which also matches the color of the camera, which is very cool and not something I've seen before. Ethernet cable, some screws, your installation hardware, and lastly, the camera itself. The pack I have here comes with two cameras, but I don't have the other one as the other one is installed outside on my house. Taking a look at the camera itself, I love the design these have. Many cameras opt for a basic white or black shell which don't really blend into a house well, but this one has a very nice brown color that even has a rock-like texture on it. In my opinion, this looks a whole lot better and it's nice to see a company putting extra thought and attention to the appearance of the camera instead of sticking to the same old boring designs. So installation is pretty straightforward and easy. Basically you have this little bracket here and then once you have this installed in the wall, this just clicks into place and holds it with a magnet. And as you can see, it's very strong and holds very sturdy as well. I've had mine up for a few days now and it stays exactly where I put it. You can see I'm shaking this around pretty aggressively and it's not moving or budging at all or falling off. So. So it's a very cool and unique mounting method that I haven't seen before, but really makes it much more easier and convenient versus using that little threaded hole. It does have that as well. So if you already have a mount somewhere, you could also screw it on as well. Beside the cameras, I also have the Nui solar panels, which I highly recommend getting if you get these cameras. Normally you have to take this camera down a few times a year to charge it back up. But when you have the solar panels, it'll continuously keep the cameras topped off and charged. Worst case scenario, you might have to take the cameras down once or twice a year during the winter, but having this solar panel would definitely make these cameras a lot more maintenance free. Then taking a look at the design of the solar panel, it has the same brown color and matches the camera. So I really like the extra attention, once again, that Nui put into designing these products. All right, so once you set your camera up in the app, which is very easy and takes about 30 seconds, this is what you'll see. So if you have multiple cameras, they'll all come on this page. Right now I only have one. And then once you click that, right here you have your live view. There you can see it has a live stream of what's going on in my backyard. Coming down here, you could record the video, take a snapshot, set an alarm, talk to whoever's there. Then if you click this, it'll enable sound so you can hear what's happening as well. Coming to the settings, you have a few different things you can do. Over here you can set it to record audio or not, rotate the image in case you have the camera set into a different orientation. Then right here you could select how long you want it to record when it detects something. By default it's at 15 seconds or you could do less which will use less battery or up to 20 seconds but that will use more battery so I just left it on 15 seconds so it doesn't die too quickly. Then over here, you have your detection settings. So you have your sensitivity. If it's you're having a bunch of false triggers or for something in the distance, you don't want it to detect. You can set that closer or if you want it to detect more, you can set that farther or you can turn off detection in general. Uh, you have schedules here and this is where you can turn it off if you don't want to receive alerts at a certain time. Then you have human shape detection and detection zone. So right now I have this here at the side here, I have a little table that has a cover on it and it, the cover always flaps around in the wind and tends to trigger cameras. So with this, I was able to close it off and now it's only going to alert me when it sees something in this area and it's going to ignore this over here. Then coming over here, you have your storage. I totally forgot, but this also comes with a base. I have it installed right now, so I forgot that it wasn't in the box and I forgot to have it here. But I'll throw an image up on the screen and basically these cameras communicate to that base. And the base also works as a Wi-Fi extender. And what's cool is the SD cards don't physically go into the cameras, but go into the base instead. So if you have two or three cameras, they would all get recorded on the single SD card and you don't have to worry about actually going out to the camera and changing the card or taking out the card from there. So right now I have a 64 gigabyte SD card inside the base. 
And then you could also have cloud storage. You could do a 14 day trial, but then uh, Nui has a few plans as well. And that about wraps up everything for the settings. Coming back to the main screen down here, you have view playback. And this is where you can see all the capture events that happen. So you just click on one and it'll display it up there. And then these are all from today, but up here is where you sort and click what day you want. Overall, very easy to navigate. And then right down here, you have the button that will trigger on the light for the camera. It will automatically get triggered or you can turn it on by itself. And right now it's using the IR lights. Once you turn that on, it will turn on the light and then switch over to color mode. So as you can see, now there's some color in that picture. And that about wraps up everything for the app. So taking a look at the video quality, this is definitely a very solid camera. Thanks to its 2K resolution, everything looks nice and clear in both daytime and night. This camera also sees a lot more than most other cameras thanks to its 140 degrees wide field of view. Videos on this camera can be stored on an internal SD card or their cloud storage which is called Nui Plus. They do have a few different plans to choose from with their cheapest one being affordable at just a little over $2 a month. With that being said, I do have two minor complaints with this camera. One would be that it only has human detection and not vehicle detection as well. Many cameras also come with vehicle detection these days, but on this one you only get the default notification of motion detected instead. Second would be while these cameras do have built in spotlights, they honestly aren't very bright. They do a good job of lighting up maybe three to four feet in front of the camera, but beyond that, they really don't do much at all. I would have liked to see them use more of a flood beam instead, as I do have other cameras with the same size light, but with a much brighter output. These two things aside, I still think these are great cameras for the price and I have no complaint about the video quality or app experience. So if you happen to be in the market for battery powered security cameras, the Nui Cam Pro is definitely a great option to consider. All right, well, that about wraps up this video. As usual, if you have any questions at all, feel free to drop me a comment. Otherwise, thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time.